and I am going to change this vessel sink which has stains on it that I can't get rid of very stubborn because of the texture this sink has a texture and it's very hard to clean so I'm going to change this with this one and also I'm going to refinish the top of the vanity so stay tuned all coming up first step is to uninstall the sink and for that I'm going to uninstall the p-trap there's going to be some water in the p-trap so I put a bucket underneath this gooseneck part of the p-trap holds the water so smell from your sewer line doesn't sneak into your uh, house in case you are wondering i painted my pvc pipes here in black to match the finish with the sink top part just twist off at least mine is like that but then there's a screw i need to unscrew that this was a little bit challenging because it was stuck but eventually it gave in at this point there is nothing holding the sink down except the silicone which I'm just going to cut it with my knife so this vanity I made it from an IKEA desk which I got it for $40 at a garage sale as well as the sink it was $40 second hand but it was brand new in the box but no wonder they didn't want to keep it Besides having the texture and getting stained easily, it's also too shallow. So I don't know what I was thinking. I just like the way it looked, so I got it. But now I'm so glad I'm changing it to a much practical one. Especially this is my Airbnb unit. Cleaning will be much easier with the porcelain finish. Now I'm just going to scrape off the silicone residues and also sand it a little bit with 120 grit sandpaper since I'm going to use chalk paint I don't really need to sand the whole thing just the residues from the silicone I don't want any bumps on the surface this is why I love using chalk paint application is pretty easy you don't really need to sand or prepare the surface you just go over whatever the existing surface is first I tried to paint in yellow but I couldn't get the right color because I usually mix colors but then I forget what I did and so that's what happened here so I decided to go with the charcoal anyways because the bottom shelf is charcoal and I think it will look much better with white sink after two coats of chalk paint I sprayed the surface about three times with this protective top coat I'm going to list all the materials I used in the description below if you are interested once the surface was dry i put silicone around the faucet and now it's time for the new vessel sink it came in the mail i ordered online it's nice and clean and deeper than the other one water won't be splashing all over i think it's pretty cheap it cost me 60 dollars not too bad now i'm applying silicone all around the perimeter but I have a feeling I made a mistake at this step. I should have put the silicone to the outer rim instead of inner. Um, but it was too late by the time I realized. I, I don't know why I did this. So I'm going to make it up for it by uh, putting silicone from outside. Well, outer rim has this slight curve. That's why I didn't want to put silicone there. I thought it would show, but... I guess it's better than getting water inside and rotting the wood underneath right well anyways but hopefully this will protect it from water going in i dip my fingers into water with dish soap solution so silicone won't stick to my hands so that's a good trick to know when you're using silicone at this point i run into a problem my gun didn't fit in the bag so i end up squeezing into my fingers and then apply it but at the end it worked out okay now it's time to install the drain you need to get a vessel sink drain 
they tell you exactly how to do it all you have to do is follow the instruction first thing I'm going to slide down the drain body through the sinkhole I'm not using any plumber's potty around the rim since it has its own washer and this washer goes from the bottom and a nut to secure it in place so let's do that first all I am doing is follow the instruction first the washer goes in and then the nut to secure it in place I'm gonna use my wrench to turn it a couple of times now the tailpiece goes in washer in between never forget the washer for watertight connections so far up until this point I used what came in the kit but now I have a problem here my tailpiece is too short and it doesn't meet the p-trap so it needs to be extended so I went ahead and bought this extension pipe it's they are very cheap couple of dollars from a hardware store and this is gonna do the job but I need to cut it it's too long so I'm just going to measure it and mark it with my pencil and cut it they're easy to cut you can use your hand saw any kind of saw I'm going to use my multi-tool that's what I have at the moment with me you need to first feed the nut and then the washer to the tail piece and then you're going to put the extension pipe and again washer being in between and tighten the nut you don't need a tool for this just hand tight I also had to get this reducer nut and washer because my tail piece is one and a quarter inches and the p-trap is one and a half inches which means I have a quarter inches of gap and if I use it that way water will be gushing out but this is going to solve that problem they have this huge washer that's going to go first the nut again and then the washer and then I'm going to attach the p-trap to it that way I won't have any gap in between so again I am going to use my hand to tighten the nuts now time for the big moment we'll see if there is any leak or not it's all dry let me move this so we can see on the surface if there is any dripping of water or anything nope all nice and clean now this is the last piece of the kit I need to install it this is very easy you just twist it in a couple of times and that's it so this is a push button drain I want to test this for water tightness very quickly water standing still it's not moving great let me look at the bottom again for the last time to see any leakage nope I don't see any leak great job we did it thank you for visiting my channel and I will see you next time bye